Oh, I'm just trying to stretch. Hello, friends. I'm sitting here just working on the computer. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> you, I could say that I'm not really doing much, but I am. I have spent a little bit of time this, actually all morning since the kids went to school. It's one o'clock. I've been working on a few different things. Let me show you a cute little um, page in my notebook. Cute little map out of the year. Uh, I, at church, I am a leader for little girls Ashley's age and one year younger. Ashley is now in the older portion of her group. They just add new girls at the beginning of the year. So we added four girls, I think were new yesterday at our activity and part of our activity was setting goals for the year in like four different categories and things that they can work on through the year and part of what we do with the, their activities is include those goals in our activities so like if they're working on talents and strengthening their talents and learning a new skill then we will have an activity for that like one of the activities will be painting and we can have different painting techniques that we can show them watercoloring or markers or um, different different painting techniques. Anyway, so we asked the girls last night to come up with some ideas and they did a really good job. And I just kind of mapped it out today and just kind of planned what activities would fit for what months and also for COVID, unfortunately. Like there's one activity that we ended up planning um, and asking the two people um, that will need help with the activity. <laughs> I got the girls all excited about it and so it's hot tubbing and I think it'll be perfect for eight little girls. That's how many are in our class. Anyway, so we saw someone in the hallway that has a hot tub and I, <laughs> I was like, I asked one of the girls, I was like, you go and ask her if we can have a hot tub activity at her house and then we can plan it and we can pick a month and her hot tub was broken but was all excited about it she's like let me get it fixed and then i'll let you know and then she was talking to someone else and she's like hey i just got a hot tub the boys are there tonight <laughs> so then they're like that's not fair anyway so we want to go hot tubbing and it sounds like such a cute little fun activity for these kids something away from the church and like just doing something a little bit different and then i realized covid <laughs> It's like, one, we have to have them in masks. That's our like church mandate and obviously like our state mandate as well. And it's just safe. And who wants to wear a mask in a hot tub in close quarters? Even though it'll be outside, I just like looking forward to doing it. Like even next month, I was like, that would be really fun. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it for a little while. I'm gonna hold it off and do it. What did I schedule it? October of, of this year. I'm gonna just push it out and kind of get through and maybe fingers crossed by October we'll be in a different place with this stupid pandemic so I've been working on that I have been working on uh, our Hawaii trip I am still in the works to try and make it work dang Hawaiian Airlines they literally have jacked up the price of plane tickets the day we need to leave the day before we need to leave and two days before we need to leave oh you guys like I'm talking four times the cost of a plane ticket from every other airline, every other airline. But we have to fly Hawaii, uh, we have to fly Hawaiian, at least part of it, in order to use miles that we have been earning. <laughs> so frustrated. Waiting for Ashley to get home. It is Wednesday, so we have a little date planned. She was a little grumpy this morning, not wanting to go to school. I think she gets stressed trying to think about food and what to eat. And so she didn't want to go today. And I just told her, I'm like, you just need to be brave and eat and trust it and whatever. But I told her we'd go to the dollar store today. She was, I don't want to go. And I was like, well, you can get a treat. Let's see if we can set you up here. This is, oh, I'll let you see what I'm on. Erin, I can get you out of your little sign because <laughs> I'm not going to display it in my house. Even though I do proclaim Utah as my home state, I don't really need to decorate for Utah. So we'll use it as a prop up. And pending Ashley to come home to try and do something with her. And so I'm just hanging out in my sweats and doing nothing. I've done laundry, I've done dishes, waiting for Chelsea to unload. Anyway, I'm kind of bored. And we will go to the dollar store and see if we can find some Valentine crafts. Uh, a few other things, I need some conditioner and Oh, what else I need? Oh, I'll show you. All right, so here at my desk, I just had my cottage cheese and some blueberries. Ran out of raspberries. 
I actually could go to Costco and get some more. The kids have been eating them as well and I've been letting them, but now I'm out. So I don't have any more berries to eat for my, my lunch and I need to do that. But my notebooks, this is my supply. Let me just, let me just go through this with you guys again. If you are new, this is my addiction. This is probably the one thing aside from Hawaii that I am addicted to collecting. These are my notebooks. So these four, I think these, no three, there's three here. These are already in use. I don't use them every single day, but I do use them. Um, one of them is for church. This is for, two of them are church. This is for conferences that I listen to for church and I take notes and whatnot. And then this one is for my callings at church, which I technically should have done that other page in this notebook. I actually forgot that I had that. And anyway, that's there. And then this is like my YouTube notes and research and that kind of stuff notebook. But see, then the rest of these are all blank. <laughs> there's six of them. You want to see them? Let's, we'll just do a little because we don't have anything else to do. So there's that one. And then this cute little Be Your Best. And then Secret of Getting Ahead is Getting Started by Mark Twain. Just thought that was kind of simple. And then I have two leather ones. This one just has a notes, just kind of a generic little address on it. And this one has like a little mandala. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Just a little gold decal on it. And the last one is Girl Power. So I was actually really excited. I forgot to tell you about this because I had an old notebook this guy up here. Okay, let me just get this down because this is what I need to work on. Oh, see, look, these are my old ones and I keep them and it's kind of like a mini journal, a mini calendar, if you want to say, of my past, whatever. These are conference um, journaling that I do while I watch church conferences twice a year and that one was full so I got to put that one aside this is the one that I had last year and a little bit from the year before and it was done at the very end of the year look at this you guys Christmas 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 and then look the the notebook ended and then I went to like other Christmas lists that the kids had I can't really oh yeah this is like my Christmas cards that I sent to people but then look there's the end of the notebook. I actually have some like stuff in there that you guys can't see. But this notebook was completely done at the end of the year. And I don't know what brings me more joy in terms of planning and starting a year fresh than to start a new notebook. So this is the new one for 2022. It says take note and it has a cute little pocket in it. This is actually um, a little page. Kaylee earned her first college credits in school. We actually just paid for it, which is super cool. She's still in high school. So I just was able to start my new notebook. Happy New Year. Cute little snowflakes up here in the corner. Down here, a little hooray. Anyway, so I started that and I've taken a few notes. This is your little um, food idea lists for Ashley and I to start working on and little grocery items that we can try and get strawberries um, to get her to try new things. Can't really show you some of these. <laughs> anyway, this is my trip that I just did. Anywho, what I meant to keep going on this little topic was that these notebooks are all done. These are from the past right here and I want to store these better. They now do not fit into this basket. Looks like I have a tropical theme going. <laughs> so I want to kind of put them in date order and find a better container or storage or something for them. I like to display them. I think they're cute and it's just a part of me and I always like to like bring a part of me into how I decorate and do the house. Like I have these ones all lined up and ready to use. Up there on my little shelf I could make room for a cute little bin or basket to put these guys in. Anyway, so I'm just going to go to the dollar store and see if I can find a cheap option so that I don't spend a ton of, mon ton of money on it and then I'll find a new way to like use that basket. So that's really like all I've done <laughs> today. Here's my Ashley boo. I only have a few more years if you want to come and hang out with me so I need to take advantage of it. I need a little butt bin for those to go in. Do you think Dad will be happy about me buying another bin? You have 16. <laughs> Don't call me out. I have 17 up there. Oh yeah, there are. <laughs> she called me out. There's two more right there. It's so there's 18. But they're used. How many are used? How many are right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are Nine, used. 10, 11, no. 12, 13, eight. 14, 15, 16. I understand, but these ones are in use. All of these ones are in use, and this well, one is in use. Books. It's like journals. It's like my history of what I've done. See? It's all good. And then you're gonna put Come with me to the dollar store. 
Okay? No, they don't fit in there. That's the whole point. They no longer fit in that because I have so many. Okay, get your jacket. Let's go. All right, so we're sitting in the car. We just got a bunch of stuff, didn't we, Ashley? We're gonna have to look for it, look through it when we get home. I'm waiting to be able to pull out into traffic. She had a friend go through her entire craft room when she sold her house and gave her all this stuff. And it's like all the kits from Target and the dollar store for like Valentine's Day and Easter and all this stuff. She's been trying to get me to take it for their activity kids church. And now she, take the Valentine's, take the Easter. And I was like, okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I was like, okay, now I will take it and we will sort it. There's another class that we're gonna sort it and come and kind of share it with. But it gives me a better idea of what we may not need to buy at the dollar store for some activities coming up. So that was very helpful. We'll show you what we got, right Ash? Yeah, we got a lot. So uh, off to a dollar store, maybe Hobby Lobby, because she brought money, right? Yeah. She wants to go shopping. Okay. We'll just see. She's got a 50 burning a hole in her pocket, right? <laughs> All right, it's hot in here. I got the left the car on too long while I chatted with my friend and now it's too hot in here. Let's go shopping. Hard choices, right? In case we're showing what we got really quick. I just got enough conditioner to tie us over. I got some little face lotions. I use one and then I'm gonna give one to Chelsea. You said that she doesn't have one right now? Yeah, I didn't. Then I got some scrubber brushes for the showers because ours are like all moldy. Yeah. And she just needs a band-aid now, so. so. <laughs> and then that is it, right? Yeah. Oh, and a card. For a certain someone. Yeah. I'm not gonna say who. Yeah. Check out all these new flavors. We've got Sour Jacks, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You can get that one if you want. Then look, then we've got Gummy Fun Mix with the fish, Tropical Fish Party. And then we have a Sour Party. And then we have a Soda Pop Party. And Sour Wedges. These are really cute. And, these and then that one's a Swirl. Oh wow. And these. Goodness sakes, they're like stepping up their game. Okay, who's happy with what you got? Me. You? And I found a bin. Yes. Right? So we just hit Hobby Lobby. I found a bin to put all my notebooks in. Yes. And I found a washi tape holder, which I've been on the lookout for, and I found one for like $4. So that was pretty economical. The basket was 10 so, you know, a little bit more than I was gonna get for a basket, but it is pretty cute and it's pretty durable and it has high sides. Right, Ash? Yes. Okay, show them what you got and why I didn't want you to get it. Well. I think it's the same answer, why? Slime. <laughs> and then I also got the little pocket. Yeah. I don't know. It's your money, so. You're fine with me getting these, but not. Oh, yeah. Get. I'm fine with slime, or uh, with the poppets uh, any day. Yeah, they're not. But I'm not fine with slime, so what happens if that gets into co clothes, or carpet, or couch? Um, throw it away immediately. Throw it away immediately. Shake on it? No. Yes, pinky swear. <laughs> Everyone saw it here. Okay. And we gotta get home because kids are gonna be home from school and I left the front door locked. <laughs> so I gotta get home. All right, just got home. I'm gonna take my receipts here and scan those on fetch. We're gonna get rid of the slime for my buckets or poppets. Looks like we have a unicorn, a heart, and a teddy bear. Very cute. So this is the washi holder. I'll show you that here in a second. But I think this is perfect. I could even do it this way, which might be kind of cute. So you can actually see the spines. I like that. Look how much room we have. This is cute. Look, Ash. It Look, we have so much room. I have two more up here. I mean, cute. I should actually go through them and like date order them. This is, says it's from 2017, but it's not necessarily like when I did it. So it's 721, 17. That was from five years ago. So I've got quite a bit of these. I should date order them. So I've got cute little pineapples and little arrows. This is my current one. Polka dot, another pink arrow, cute little turquoise, mermaid, shiny there, and then another tropical one. Okay. Back up on the shelf. I might need to shuffle things around a little bit because that might be too much weight on the end of the shelf. Although this is pretty sturdy. I'm not too worried about it. And the rest of this stuff is pretty light. If you're new here, this is my little Hawaii section. 
I need to get a picture. This is from when Jason and I went on a trip. In fact, Ashley wants me to print some photos from Costco, so I might go ahead and print one of Jason and I from our last trip to Maui. And we never got one put in this one for from our family trip. So I need to print those too. And I might change out and just move this out to like this section out here in my living room and make all of this Hawaii because that's more my vibe. Okay, but next up is my little washi holder. I have these washies that I got earlier last year, but I didn't have anywhere to store them. And then I also have this washi tape box and they just don't stay like lined up where you can see all the different colors it's just an open bin. I will reuse this for another purpose. But this one here has little compartments. So you can kind of see on the back side here so that they will stay in order. And now I'm going to put them in rainbow order. It's like little OCD heaven right here. have in rainbow order and then I added the extra little colors that I have kind of here and there some of them didn't match up completely I just needed to get them to fit in like I wanted this blue one here to go in with the blue here but it doesn't fit this way so that's all done I actually have some more in here these are all my Halloween ones and this one was just too big to fit in with the other ones and I don't know that I would ever use this one I got these ones from like one of those five dollar grab bags at Michael's after the holiday along with this big huge strip. Oh I had this one here too but I don't think I have any more room for that to fit. So I just kind of have a leftover bucket. I really don't use these until like Halloween and then now I know they're all in here. I can just get those out. But this guy here is going to stay here on my desk because I use these ones all the time in my little notebooks. We just had dinner right? Yeah. You had a good dinner? Kind yeah. of. We weren't feeling very hungry because he had a bowl of cereal an hour, hour ago, right? But I'm about to show her a little activity, little, uh, what do you call it, calendar of events, right? February Valentine's Craft. Yep, Valentine's Craft for February. Spa night. So spa night in February. Yeah. And then, and then in March, we're going to painting. Baking, serving to family in Ward. Yeah, we're gonna bake some cookies, right? And then serve it to, like, we'll keep make it all cute and take it to someone. April. Because we want to do some service, right? And then April, we're gonna do... Easter crafts and, and jewelry. Now, does everyone love doing jewelry? We don't. If we could do jewelry, times. like, every week, month, we probably would, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what are we doing in May? Well, Mother's Day crafts, but I can't really do it. I know. <laughs> It'll be okay. It is what it is. Maybe yeah. I just won't look at it, the final work, yeah. right? And then we're also going to do a Father's Day craft, right? Yes. Because that'll, Father's Day is in June, but, so we want to just kind of do both of those in May. Yeah. And then what happens in June? The talent showcase. We're going to have a talent showcase. And then the... We're going to do a outside tent scripture night, scripture night with snacks. Right. We kind of had a little fun day together. And she, look at this. She cleaned up her desk area. And that yeah. looked all nice. She Clorox wiped the counter. You made me do that. I did make you do it because you make a terrible mess. I've called you out on your messes on this video I before. I see many paint. Oh, yeah. It's like pockmarked with paint. And then you have to... And I appreciate you cleaning up your little art area. You like to do those things, right? But do we clean up our messes? Um, well, I come back to it sometimes, but sometimes I yes. do that. But I think we're going to lay out some butcher paper underneath you next time yeah. we come to paint. Because then you can just make all the mess you want, and then you just gather it all up and throw it away. But we also need to... Look at the paint. Another day, maybe next Wednesday or Saturday. We'll see. We need to go through or, my paint bucket. Or the next Friday. I'm we need to do off. it soon because one of our painting activities is in March. We need, we're going to have a painting activity. And I want to have multiple different mediums of paint. Watercolors, acrylic, maybe even like some charcoal pencils. But I need to go through my painting box. These yeah. guys have used paint like no tomorrow. <laughs> and... I think every single container of paint in there is done. Done. I mean, it's a sad day. I'll show you. <laughs> 
one, the squirt didn't put my paint away correctly. Do they go in laying like this? Mm -hmm. Or how do they go in? Yeah, they go in like that, upside down. You can see inside there how it's supposed to be. It's not, it's fine. We're not going to do it now because it's, it's really, I know. But look, these are like empty and empty and empty. All right, so another day we're going to go through all the paints, kind of like we go through like all the pens and markers and stuff. And actually I need to, I have an idea for this area and I'm going to redo it soon because this drives me nuts. And no one actually pulls the pencils and stuff out of this container. It, it just, just becomes a mess. It just kind of, you just Correct? Get... And then they don't put it away right. So I have a new plan, an idea. I just need to find it I and do it. Help. You have homework? Okay, great. So anyway, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to have to buy a whole batch of acrylic paint. But it's actually kind of hard to find because painting during a pandemic has become a thing. So... So kind of a crafty, organizing, hanging out with Ashley kind of day. It's always fun. Right, Ash? Yeah. I know. So now it looks like we have some homework, so we're going to end our night with you guys. Thanks for joining us. It's kind of fun to have... Look at that. I mean, how is that not satisfying? I keep looking at it. I love this kind of stuff. I like watching, like, ASMR, like, TikTok and, like, videos on YouTube where things are, like... Nice and easy and, you know, like organized and color coordinated. I love that kind of stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if there's an area in your house that you would love to like organize. Maybe you need some ideas. I would love to help out even from afar. Love to do that. And I am going to give a quick little shout out to our friend Joan from our friends that follow us. Um, she had a birthday recently, and I'm going to say happy birthday, Joan. I just found that out from her comment. She asked me when I was, she asked me when my official birthday was, and it's actually in two days. Wait, it is? From when you guys are, not from when you guys are watching this. It'll already have been passed, but current day, it's in two days. I didn't know that. <laughs> I know. And, um, anyway, so happy birthday, Joan, from the past, and I hope you had a good day. You guys should take care, and we'll see you guys next time. You guys finding stuff, getting it together? Yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot to show you guys what we got in these bags from our friend. Um, we're kind of organizing it and splitting it to the other class. We're just trying to decide which one to do. So maybe we'll show you once we kind of divide it up. Okay, so we have these split up into two different groups. Kind of have some things that are similar and others that are a little bit different. This will be one class, the older kids, and then this one is Ashley's class. I'll just show you what she has in her class really quick. These are little foam hearts, and then we have foam letters. And we're gonna do like a little Valentine card making night, and they're gonna make Valentines for their family members. So then there's some little um, puff balls that they can use to decorate with, along with some ribbon. And then also some stickers they can kind of decorate with. There's a couple different things of stickers in here. And then we also have little gift tags if they want to add that to their Valentine. And then they have little straws. They can either decorate with this or maybe we have some snacks. We aren't eating snacks while we're at these activities yet because we need to keep our masks on. But maybe they add this to their Valentine and we can like... Maybe it would be cute to have little like soda bottles as part of the little gift that they gave their family members. Yeah. A cute little red or pink soda bottle. And then they could attach a little straw, uh, straw to it. And then a gift tag. And their Valentine. That would be kind of cute. Yeah. Anyway, I'm kind of coming up with things as we go. So that's Valentine's. So this is like one or two whole activities yeah. done for Valentine's. And then this is for Easter. We have some more of the foam. They can just color these. And then these are cute little, uh, what are they called? Puffball bunnies and chickies, right? And then we have these cute little eggs to decorate. And it comes with like the eggs are the, that black and you rub off and it gets the rainbow effect. I thought that was really cute. Even comes with like the little sticks to rub it off. And then we have some little bunny feet and I thought we were gonna play freeze tag with the bunny feet. Uh, you you, th didn't. you yeah. thought of it, you thought of it. And it was a cute idea. You had to find a bunny foot and get on it before you have to freeze. Mostly I make the help you. Maybe like, like the floor is hot lava, but the floor is bunny feet or something. You have to get to bunny feet yeah, in order to not win. You do it, but I have to help you so <laughs> Well, I'm not playing it. You're playing it. But um, Then we also have, oh, this is for Valentine's too. This is part of the little Valentine. They can add their name with the foam or the hearts. And these are actually little books that they can give their Valentine. Maybe if it's for like one of their siblings, it's a little 
blank book inside and it's just kind of cute there's eight of them in there it's perfect and then some more easter and spring stuff these are just little cutouts that they can use to decorate if we do a craft projects and then we have little easter booklets in case i need to like do gift prizes or something and then we have some plates and napkins again we can't really eat but maybe we put a cookie on it and then a napkin and they take it home right yeah we could do that and then this bag right here is filled with goodie bag things and i just this will be really fun there's some e uh, valentine bubbles Vermont. but also some easter goodies so there's some goodie bags in here for easter and then there's some little trinkets for uh, valentine's day and there's a valentine's cards there's a lot of different things in here that we can use for both holidays and then for the most part we duplicated everything for the older class except the two little valentine boxes right ashley yes. oh do you need a bag for those yeah, here you go. I've kind of been splitting up the big bags. And then the only ones left we haven't split up are the Easter egg kits back here. Maybe we just do these ones here at home, Ash. And we have like the teenagers if they want to do like the golden eggs or whatever for a day. But then we could play an Easter game at the church for one of the activities and like fill these with candy and you collect your Easter eggs or something. So, and then I actually found some things that I might decorate with because these cute little Valentine boxes, they're just little cardboard boxes, but I realized how cute would they be on like my little trays in the kitchen. These are like the perfect little size. If you like, let me show you, you stack them up like that. Let me show you down here. Like how cute would that be on a tray? So I'm gonna keep these guys. And then I also got a little mailbox. So I think I'm gonna use this on a tray. Oh, <laughs> put a little Valentine in there. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna decorate with these guys. Okay, I think we're officially done and we're gonna sign off with you guys, but this was fun to do, right Ash? And it's fun to think of the activities that we're gonna have right away as well. So we're gonna put all of that into a garbage bag and then we're gonna put ours into a bag so that we have it for our activities. And then I'm gonna give this to the other leader tomorrow and hand off. Actually going to end our video here as we clean up this mess and say goodnight to you guys. Thank you for joining Ashley in our little craft day. It was fun to just kind of go with the flow of the day. Like when we got to Hobby Lobby, I figured out the phrase. <laughs> we had to turn the camera off for me to figure out the phrase. When we went to Hobby Lobby, we had no idea we were gonna find like the basket and the washi tape thing. I suddenly remembered that I wanted the washi tape thing. So just kind of as our day went on, we kind of found new things to like figure out. Anyway, kind of fun. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you guys next time.